Hello and welcome to Dr. Shiny Tarot. Uh, this is a reading for the month of November for my Aquarian friends. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please check out my introduction video uh, where I explain a little bit more about how I read the cards and what my method is, all that. It's very valuable. So uh, I will go ahead and start with your Celtic Cross. It's good to see you. It's been a while since I have done a reading. So let's see what we have. Okay. Now, typically you would draw these last four cards all in one row, but I don't really have enough space on the desk, so we're going to put it on the side there. Okay. So, your current situation today is the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is about a sort of painful transition. Uh, it's a necessary transition, it's something that you have to go through, and it's for the best. It's not necessarily like a death or, or something like that, which is really weighing heavy on you. Well, it could be, but it, it's really more of uh, something that you just got to put your nose to the grindstone and just do it. And it's not fun. It's not something you want to be doing, but you got to do it. So it's uh, what's crossing you or what's influencing you is the chariot in the reverse. And the chariot in the reverse is about sort of being resistant to change, being resistant to a new form of life. The chariot is about sort of outgrowing your situation and maturity, right, and uh, accomplishment also. So you've been successful and there is a sort of comfort that comes with that success that you don't really want to move away from yet. So you want to kind of stay in that uh, comfort zone, right? But it's time to move on, and, um, you know, it'll be okay. <laughs> the recent past, you have the uh, Ace of Pentacles, or coins. Coins represent the material realm. So this is a new material opportunity. So it could be that you're maybe moving for a job or, um, you know, having to move back home uh, because your your bills are just too expensive. It's very expensive to live right now. And, you know, everybody is out of a job these days, it seems. So, um, you know, the, the Pentacles was a, a way of bringing in a new material or financial opportunity to you. Uh, and it was kind of maybe out of the blue. You didn't really expect it, but you somehow know it's for the best, and so you're on this journey, um, even though it's kind of a painful transition. So in the near future, you have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So the Eight of Swords normally has this energy of uh, being trapped by your own thoughts. So the figure is kind of tied up, but she really could use any of those swords around her to free herself from those bonds. Uh, but she just is kind of trapped by her own thoughts. She's a little bit afraid. Um, you know, it's not necessarily even fear sometimes, but it's more of a, a feeling like you're powerless. Um, and, you know, if you don't think that you have a choice, if you don't think that you have power in a situation, you don't really have power, you know, effectively anyway. In the reverse, this is kind of a... It's really bogging you down. It's really got you... Uh, you know, feeling as though there's nowhere to go, there's nowhere to turn. But this can be the sort of end of that. So it's coming to a realization that there is a solution and that there is a way out of your problems, uh, that kind of thing. And this is because it's in the reverse. So it's, you know, kind of turning the situation upside down. So it's not going to be, you're not going to be trapped too much longer. You're not going to feel trapped too much longer. You're going to see a way out. But there's also an energy here of, you may look back and see that it didn't have to be uh, the way that you think it has to be right now. So very interesting. 
uh, for the foundation or what's on your subconscious, um, what's affecting your subconscious, is the Ten of Coins. And the Ten of Coins is really a completion of, of the material journey, right? So this is maybe you've moved on from from something else um, where you really had a sort of mastery in in the card you know there's three generations there's a grandchild and a grandpa who's uh petting his dogs and there's abundance everywhere this free-flowing wealth and the foundation of this uh means that this is kind of what's what's feeding this quest or feeding this desire. It could be that there is uh, a need for you to have a happy and healthy family uh, or to support a family. You might have children already that you really want the best for. So there's some really good energy who, that is feeding this situation. So the positive there is that Anytime that kind of energy is in your subconscious, it's a really positive sign that things are going to work out for the best because, you know, people do horrible things with really good intentions. But when your subconscious is, is directing you in this way, it's a lot more powerful and it's a lot more likely to turn out well because you're doing what you really have to do despite not necessarily doing what you want to do. And I, I'm really seeing the pain amplified with your crowning thoughts is the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is a uh, definitely one of the most heartbroken uh, cards in the deck. This is a card that it's kind of associated with choice, uh, with leaving a path behind. And anytime you make a choice, anytime you choose something, there's always this pain that comes with abandoning up all these other paths. You know, if you come to a fork in the road and you choose one direction, there were probably some good things for you down that other direction as well. So this is the kind of energy of leaving that behind. Always well, it should be painful if you're really paying attention, right? So some people just kind of charge off and don't even regret or anything. But if you're really making a, a, a careful choice and you're thinking it through, there's going to be some pain associated with any direction that you choose in life. So, hey, we have a visitor, little Mistress Cleo, Cleopatra. She's a cutie. So your advice for the current situation can also be your attitude or your emotional state in this situation uh, is the magician in the reverse. So, you know, I'm thinking that the, and this doesn't really fit with the tone of the rest of your reading so far. So what I'm thinking is that this is advising you to be a little bit um, more headstrong, more confident in your your abilities. So the magician in the upright is kind of a, a card of manifestation. Whatever you imagine comes to be, right? Well, in the reverse, it can be a little bit, um, not that those qualities are lacking, but that it causes this sense of arrogance or of uh, being a little too full of yourself, that kind of thing. So I think in the context of this uh reading there's two ways this might affect you one of them is maybe you're being a little bit too arrogant with people who are involved you might be dragging somebody along with you on this journey on this difficult journey and you know in the six of swords there's two people in the boat with the guy who's paddling right so it's uh it's very possible you're dragging somebody along with you and you're not being very warm or open with those people you're being a little cold you're not explaining this lovely energy of the ten of coins uh, that's in your subconscious very well. So you may want to tap into that and you know um, get them on the same page a little bit. Let let them know how you feel. Let them know what you want for them. You know, and let them know that you're not enjoying this transition either. Um, the other the other possible interpretation of it would be um, that you need to be a little more confident in. Uh, this process a little more confident in your abilities and that could serve you well when you arrive wherever you're going or when you finish this transition 
right? Uh, confidence is key. It truly is. And it really uh, has a way of getting people on your side. When you feel, when they feel that you're confident, they're a little more confident in you, right? So your current environment is the two of pentacles and or coins. And the two of coins has this sort of uh, juggling energy about it. It's very busy. Uh, it's work-life balance, that kind of thing. Um, and it is, you know, it, it's suggesting in your environment that there is a lot more going on. So, you know, whatever transition or change is underway, it's not just affecting the home life of a person. It's affecting the work life. It's affecting everything, right? So there's a lot of juggling going on in your environment and a lot of balls up in the air <laughs> there may be some love interest that you're interfering with while um, embarking on this journey so it's i think asking you to be aware that there are some other factors at play there's some people who have a lot of balls in the air and just be mindful of that you know it's like they're walking a tightrope in a way and you're really destabilizing their environment with this transition you know um on the other hand they have a they probably have a lot to teach you as well um with the importance of juggling all these things of uh you know being able to balance work life a little bit so this subconscious energy could be driving you a little bit further than you really need to be driven to um to reach for six to reach for more success than is really necessary so you want to be careful with that you want to balance work and life right work hard play hard um, it's not all about providing for your family very noble um, quest to provide for a family and to give them everything that you can but it's not the only part of life and you really want to derive some enjoyment for yourself while you're here too you know um, but you know, I, I've met enough people who have this sort of attitude of my family is all that matters to me and uh, it's, it's endearing and nobody can tell you it's wrong to be that way. So your fears card is the tower and the tower, very powerful card here. Um, so I'm sensing this is some pretty intense fears. Uh, most of the cards in your reading are either in the reverse or they are in the minor arcana. They are not major arcana cards like this. This is the only one that is in the upright position. And in your fears, it's quite a fearful card. It's probably one of the scariest cards in the deck, really. This is the destruction of a uh, an institution, really. This is something, uh, institutions, it could be marriage, it could be a job, it could be your house. This is a tremendous loss. And um, there's this energy associated with it where you've kind of embattled yourself in this situation. Or you've really dug yourself in to where you thought you were safe. But being dug in turns out to be the thing that is causing the downfall here. And this is what you're afraid of. You're afraid of investing too much in some sort of a uh, an institution and then it fall or fail. You don't want to... To waste time, you don't want to. Um, well, you don't want your hard, uh, your hard-earned money, your effort to go to waste. You don't want all that to come crashing down. And this is in your fears, right? And this is probably driving quite a bit of this situation. So, you know, take a step back and uh, definitely assess what's necessary. Um, not necessarily what what's the most that you can do um this situation is calling for a little bit of reserve and not just necessarily giving it 100 percent um it's kind of like you know preparing for the winter and just being being a little bit uh more moderate with your approach so the to final outcome or the overall message kind of the direction that this is heading is the three of wands which is kind of interesting because 
as far as the direction this is heading. This card has this energy of a journey is sort of beginning, or maybe not necessarily a journey, but an endeavor, right? The, the wands represent action and uh, or acting. And the three of wands, there's another kitty. How about that? That's Stella. <laughs> the three of wands has uh, this sort of a, a, a direction is chosen. There's also a feeling of uh, doing something when the time is right. Okay, so this is, uh, timing is everything. And this is about even the, the right actions can sometimes backfire if you don't pay attention to your timing, right? This is about choosing a direction and being very concise with that direction. So the final outcome here is, uh, you know, really it's asking you to stop dithering and to to really fall into your your decision, to really go for it, um, but to also realize that now may not be the time to execute your plan, that there may be uh, some value or some benefit in preparing a little bit better for what you're about to do, right? So this is uh, all about the the preparation, the initial steps, and it's, you know, there's there's sort of a an energy of you already know what you're gonna do, you already know which way you're gonna go. There's you're not frozen in in trying to decide, but it's really about being sure-footed and having the the proper preparations in place so that your endeavor is successful. There's no indication here that your endeavor won't be successful. I think it has a really good chance of going off well, um, but it's really going to be dependent on uh, how you navigate the situation. You don't have to worry about losing everything or losing someone that you love if you go through this with a sense of uh, temperance and, and moderation, you know, and, and, and care. Don't get too wrapped up in your own thoughts either. Um, you have to kind of go with the flow. You have to be prepared to jump in and to move with the situation as it occurs. But, you know, take take care to really consider those that care to you and what, what matters to them as well as what you want for them. You know, it's a balance of the two. But overall, I think it's a pretty good reading. It sounds like you're going through some big changes. So please let me know in the comments uh, what you thought about the reading, if it applied to you, or if you wanted some clarification, if something didn't really make sense. I could try to give you some additional insight. And uh, a pretty interesting reading. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm only going to do these once a month. So this next reading will be for December. And this one was for November. So I'll see you guys next time.